Hey guys, it's Peter Jordan, LostAngler.com, and today we're going to talk about something that affects those of us with aluminum boats or smaller boats, especially if you're going to take it in salt water. Trailer straps. Now, as you can see, this one has seen better days. It's beat up, roughed up, it's coming apart. Is it time to replace it? No, it's just time to give a little TLC. What we're going to do is today we're going to take this off, wire wheel it clean with everything you need. Um, I can do it right here, and then we're going to take some shrink tubing, put it over it so it's nice and clean, and we can continue to use this. Uh, we'll clean up little things like taking a little tag off and all that, but like I said, biggest thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, clean it off, wire wheel it up, and we're going to be good to go. Okay guys, as you can see, we've already taken this one and taken all that shrink tubing off and it is in rough condition, but is it still usable? The answer is yeah, because the metal underneath all this rust is still plenty enough to hold our boats. I've got the trusty DeWalt. I have a brass wire brush and now we're going to take it and clean it up. So give me a second. I'll clean this up and I'll show what we come up with. Okay guys, so we wire wheeled this off. Let's take a look at it. And we have gotten it nice and clean, okay? So, make sure y'all can see it. So it's pretty good, a little roughed up. Plenty of great metal underneath. Now, what's the next step? Shrink tubing. I got a few different sizes to make sure that we have what we need. Here's the biggest one. And again, you can get your shrink tube from Wally World or wherever. And it's just a booger to put on. It really is. It's tough, okay? So what's the best way to fix that? Well, in maintaining your trailer, you've probably got some axle grease. Ta-da! So, we're going to take this. Just a little. A little dab will do. We're going to go over it. I'm gonna let that hang right there for a second while I clean off my hands. And then we're gonna slide that shrink tubing over it. So, give me just a second. Okay, here we go. So, pull it out. Got a little bit of grease on it. And away we go. Right on up, no problems whatsoever. Bam, good to go. Cleaned up the metal, put a little grease on it. Now, for the shrink tubing part. Now, as you guys know, once we start to shrink this up, we're going to lose some space. So, it happens. But, I have a brand new tube right here, so we can cut off the excess as we need it. So, there we go. On we go. Nice and easy. And boom. There we are. Now, we've gone over it, got a little bit of excess. We'll cut this off when we're done. Now, I'm going to use heat gun. Get it going. It's going to get nice and hot. Shrink it on up. It doesn't take but a second to warm these things up, and it's a lot safer than using something like um, a cigarette lighter or a propane or whatever else. This is much safer. All right, here we go. As you can see, I'll bring this over to us. It has already done a wonderful job of shrinking all of this up. So I'm going to cut off this excess right here, finish shrinking it down, and then we'll do the other side.
And there you go, guys. No time flat. We're good to go. Back in the business. I'm going to take this, let it cool off for a minute. Now, being in salt water, we need to take a little extra time to handle the sprockets and all that. So, we're going to use our good friend, WD-40. As we know, WD-40 fixes all things. So, a better solution would have been something like T9, but WD-40 is just fine. So, we're going to take it. Soak it down, good to go. Just remember, sometimes the more the merrier because we've still got to wash this trailer off. And then we're going to talk about some stuff that I do to help my trailer stay in peak capacity and the rest of my boat. So I'll finish the other side. In the next video, we're going to see how to clean, maintain, flush motor in salt water. And then we'll also look at how to take care of your vinyl in your boat. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.